show you how to uh, get an airfoil offline and uh, then analyze it and then build a wing from that airfoil and then analyze that wing. Um, so to start, go to Google airfoil database, go here. From here, uh, you can see all these airfoils. Uh, you can go through these. Some of them have descriptions for like chin high lift airfoil. Um, I'm going to use a high lift airfoil of this one, FX74 Mod Smooth, which is SM. Uh, Xflyer uses a dot dat extension to run this. And so as you can see here, this is a high lift airfoil that uh, operates at low Reynolds numbers. Uh, so you'll click there, it will download here. Uh, and you have to know where this downloads to so you can open it up in XFlyer. You can go File, Direct Foil Design. And then you're going to open up that airfoil. And so there's your airfoil. It should um, display here correctly. So I ran into some airfoils that don't actually. Um, display correctly so you might have to alter the dat file itself in like notepad or something um, and so once you have your airfoil in there uh, you can do an analysis on it so all these five panes show up and uh, you're gonna have to do a batch analysis um, and then I'm going to do it within a range of 500,000 to 600,000 for your Reynolds numbers at increments of 10,000 each. And uh, I'm also going to do um, change my angle of attack um, between negative 3 and 15 degrees at 1 degree increments. And uh, yep, so these are all the settings that you want to have set up as well. Click Analyze and uh, it's gonna take a little while and it'll start populating these graphs over here so at the same time um, while these are being solved uh, it generates just this legend over here which uh, tell you so this red corresponds to a Reynolds number of 500,000 um, this pink is uh, 540,000 and so on. It is almost done. It's on its last Reynolds number and analysis completed. Click close. So, and then here's um, a bunch of your windows of uh, um, different axes so this is your CL versus your CD so let's say if you want uh, your CL versus alpha which is a common one all you have to do is double click on a window choose your Y and X axis okay and there it is and so from here you can obviously figure out your uh, lift slope or more commonly your CL max so you can zoom in figure out what angle this is like uh, 11 degrees um, and your CL max is about 2.15 and uh, you can figure out which Reynolds number you'd like to use or which one you're actually flying at and that'll correspond to a specific color um, so once you do that um, and you know you want to use this airfoil you can start building your wing Go to wing and plane design, and uh, you'll have to go to wing plane and define a new wing. Uh, this is making a symmetric wing, so it's showing both sides of it at the same time, and uh, it's generating. Um, your you're inputting in your half span, and it's generating your full span. So if you want a uh, twelve foot wingspan, you input in six. Okay. Um, same thing with cord. So uh, XFlyer divides this up into different panes. So if I highlight section one, you'll see this red line here in the middle. That's their first pane. Section two, 
um, it's this wingtip here. Okay. And um, your cord length is a distance from your leading edge to your trailing edge. For this example, I'm going to set it at two feet. This is keep it a constant cord length, so we'll do it two feet here. And uh, as you can see, it's flat right now. There's no airfoil assigned. So you're going to click foil, and this will generate all the airfoils that you opened in the very first step of this in your uh, design foil um, analysis and just importing all those dat files. They'll all show up here once you do it. Um, since we only did one, only one showing up. So we'll select that for both of them. Uh, your panes, your um, X panels and Y panels, the more panels there are, the more accurate this will be when you run analysis on it. Um, so you'll have to kind of figure out where this maxes out for your specific Reynolds number and um, different polars and stuff like that that you set up. Um, so let's say you want some polyhedral on these wings. And so you're going to click sub section 2, say insert section after section 2. There you go. Um, this is now a total length from the origin of 6.6. .6. So let's say you want a uh, say eight. So that's two feet longer on each side, and you want some dihedral to it. Now, see this is red here. So you want the dihedral. Uh, I'm sorry, polyhedral beginning at this area um, on the previous end of the wing. So you go here, add that degree, we'll say 15, and the cord is, we'll say 1.5, okay. And so there's your wing. Again, you can set these panels up as you like. Um, you can play with those. Save and close that. Next you need to set up a polar to run this in. Uh, you're going to define an analysis. Uh, you can do three types, fixed speed, fixed lift, or fixed angle of attack. I will be running a fixed lift. And uh, I'll also insert my plane mass. For me is going to be 50 pounds. 50 pounds mass. Um, select VLM, which is vortex lattice method. Um, deselect this viscous because a lot of my values will not converge if this is on for some reason. I don't really know how to work around it. Um, aerodynamic data, uh, your density, and uh, just leave these guys alone. These are already set up for sea level. You can change them if you're in a different uh, location. Um, okay. You're going to go over here and set your sequence to whatever angles of attack you want to run in, like we did earlier. Click Analyze. And we'll run this really quick. And it'll spit out a bunch of cool little colors here. Now, this is for a negative 3 degrees. Let's say you want to go to 11, which is the max, CL max. Um, so your plane, pitch, plane wing pitches up. And uh, you get down here in this. Uh, bottom right hand corner you get this CL over CD 14.3 uh, and so these will change as you select different angles of attack so we go to 8 this is now 16.47 so on and so forth so it also gives you other data that you can use um, in analyzing. You can turn on some uh, pressure coefficients, get some cool pictures, you can animate it so you can make it um, pitch up and pitch down between your defined angles of attack. Get you some pretty uh, neat numbers or pretty neat graphics. And uh, so that's the basics of it. And uh, just kind of experiment, play around um, and uh, see what you can come up with.